Excellent. Many people are aware of MS-1710 and Eternal Blue, especially with the greater attention due to ransomware leveraging this particular vulnerability. Eternal Blue exploits a vulnerability in Microsoft's implementation of SMB version 1 server and various versions of Microsoft Windows, in which specially crafted packets from a remote attacker allow arbitrary code execution on the target computer. So we recently received a pull request to add an auxiliary scanner and exploit module for two other SMB vulnerabilities that were revealed in the Shadow Brokers leak. Uh, those are addressed by CVE 2017-146 and 143. These are the Eternal Champion, Eternal Synergy, and Eternal Romance, Eternal Synergy. Um, this pair exploits a race condition with the transaction requests and a type confusion between write and X and transaction requests. So many thanks to zero sum zero X zero for developing the exploit module on the Metasploit exploit modules on top of Sleepia's exploit adaptation and to Sleepia again for spending the time to reverse and revise the exploit. Uh, as well as everyone that helped test the exploit in the pull request across a wide variety of systems. This exploit module is very reliable and preferred to Eternal Blue, where a name pipe is accessible for anonymous logins. And that's generally everything pre-Vista pre -Vista, and common for domain computers in the wild. Um, as you can see here in this particular pull request, <laughs> We tested everything from Windows 2000 through to Windows Server 2016. Uh, that includes Enterprise and Home Editions. So I'm going to scroll over here. I've got a demo set up. Uh, I've got a VM. This is a Windows Server 2012 R2 standard. Uh, it's unpatched. and it's not on a domain just because it's a VM I had available for a quick demonstration. File and printer sharing is turned on and the local security policy was modified to allow an honest login access to some name pipes to allow successful unauthenticated execution of the exploit. I could also use valid uh, username and password if I wanted to perform uh, authenticated uh, exploitation. So first, I've got the MS-1710 auxiliary scanner module loaded up. I've assigned our hosts to this particular VM and run it. This is just a quick way you can scan a block of hosts and determine if they're vulnerable uh, to this exploit. I'll load up the actual exploit module, set the our hosts to the particular VM and exploit it. We see here that it quickly was able to gain access and upload the interpreter. Um, system session was obtained. We can verify that with get ID. We see that the server username is in fact system. Check of system info. Um, the automatic target on this exploit will detect and use PowerShell on the remote machine if it's available, which is excellent. Otherwise, it's going to roll over to a native upload uh, for the payload and then execute it with PS exec. Um, while Eternal Blue leveraged kernel shellcode, this particular exploit chain does not go for shellcode execution. Instead, it's overriding the SMB connection session structure to gain session. Therefore, one may need to consider uh, evasion with your payloads. Excellent.